Hey everybody, it's John Mathis Jr. with Mansion Entertainment, back with another video today for uh, independent artists. We work a lot with uh, Christian artists, with Christian music. We've been doing it, uh, I've been doing it with Mansion Entertainment for about 12 years now. And I've worked in the music industry for over 20. My father was in the music industry uh, way back in the 50s and 60s, so I learned some growing up from him. But what I do is uh, I like to take a moment and share uh, from my experiences it's not necessarily my opinion. It's just experiences that happen and take place in the music business. I like to share with artists who are developing, uh, improving, taking ne next steps, building what they do. We all are building what we do. And this particular thing today, uh, I've been telling artists this for years, and I can't believe I haven't done a video about it yet. It's, it's like a big secret in music. Uh, it's one of those secrets nobody really wants to hear. Uh, it's like when you walk up to somebody and, and they look great and they're in shape and um, you go, hey, how did you do that? And come to find out it's exercise and eating a certain way. I know, you expect a pill or something magical. But a lot of times in the uh, careers of artists that we see that have become successful in our minds, you know, we'll, uh, we, we want to know how they've achieved that. And there's really just a very simple rule, I call it, and it's uh, the three to five year rule. Any artist I work with, especially if I'm starting out with a relationship and they're starting out trying to build what they do, I always tell them, you have to plan on three to five years. It's just a rule. And I i don't know if I've ever seen anybody break that rule. It's just its just the nature of, of building something. It, it takes time. And there are three areas just I want to mention to you today about the three to five year rule. Um, I, you know, I've seen artists do this and about that third, fourth, fifth year, things start to pop, they start to open up a little more. It is just, uh, it's just the formula. Uh, the first part of that rule is your bookings. Yeah, I've watched artists who've done this well. They've spent three to five years. They start out that first year getting whatever dates they can. The second year, they kind of cull off the ones that didn't work out so well. That's an old Southern term, calling calling something out. And uh, you know, I used to work with a, a, a dear friend of mine. Uh, and the way they managed their bookings, he actually kept a notebook, a three ring binder that he created his own form. It had the date, the contact, the pastor, or if it was the church secretary, uh, the location, the number of people at the concert, whether it was a Friday night or Saturday night or Sunday morning, the amount of the uh, honorarium or the flat or the offering, the products they sold, which products it were, uh, and even some description about the venue, you know, was it easy to get to, et cetera, et cetera. So, he kept these volumes of three ring binder information. Uh, this was years ago. You can do this digitally if you wish. Uh, but what it did for him was, uh, if he didn't rebook the date in the moment, it allowed him each year to begin to build a series of great dates during the year, great venues that they could go to and uh, that began to uh, support them. And you know, three to five years down the road, six years, seven years, they had great years, uh, great uh, t uh, tour calendar, great scheduling uh, that, that supported them very well. Uh, you know, it's interesting is uh, some of the artists I know that do this, they never necessarily have this great radio success or these other things that, that are kind of the flash in the show that we see. Um, and that sometimes we, we all, you know, we want those platforms and we desire those. But number one for artists and number one for the three to five year rule, is spending that time each year gathering, detailing, following, uh, you know, putting, taking things out, putting things in, and building those dates, you know, by three to five years. There's not any one stage, one event that's going to uh, blow up, as the term is today, blow up your, you know, what you do, or um, cause it to explode and, and just take off through the roof. It's anybody I've ever known has spent year after year doing the little things each day over and over again like I'm talking about and you got to give that three to five years the second thing about the three to five year rule is you have to also uh, spend three to five years with uh, uh, maintaining the musical identity of who you are you know I've seen so many artists over the years that uh, you know, they pin all their hopes on one album one EP one recording they come out the gate just I mean putting the farm on it and um, and then when it doesn't um, launch things like they expected, uh, they'll switch up. They'll, you know, the next, uh, the next time they record, 
uh, they'll say, well, we're going to do a different style. Or, you know, so they're kind of chasing, trying to chase a, a, a success they think is there with a certain style or, or market. But as an artist, you have to keep an identity, uh, maintain an identity musically with what you started with because it's just a, a building of followers process. And the way to do that is the music you do continually be consistent in uh, who you are musically, uh, with your music identity, with your music brand, you know, because the risk is uh, what you start building with, with, with one album out or one recording, then you, you're, you're, you're starting over when you, when you just basically start over with something that's a little different in a genre, uh, a little different with identity. And it, it takes three to five years of, of building that music identity, even with radio or anything, any other avenues you choose in that respect. I remember telling one artist, um, great songwriter in the group, and they just uh, they were starting to go out to radio with uh, some of their releases years ago. And I said, man, you're gonna, you're gonna feel like you're wasting songs. I mean, th- those are great songs. You know, uh, in a, a perfect world, an ideal world, those things should climb charts and, and, and see some recognition and some progress. But the reality of, of things like radio and things like any other things, platforms uh, that you're releasing music to, it's building relationships, building friendships, building um, familiarity with your music brand. And so out the gate, you know, you're going to feel, um, you know, just kind of throwing some things away, but you can't look at it as this one thing is the end all be all. It's the three to five years that give you the opportunities uh, to, to branch out into other areas. The, that three to five years of maintaining uh, your musical identity has an impact. Three to five years of those bookings uh, and, and managing those dates and, and finding better dates um, has an impact. And the final thing is, uh, the third thing is three to five years of being consistent on building your own platforms, you know, uh, building your YouTube platform, building your uh, social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, whatever else you're on. Uh, Those are important as well. And even including building your streaming uh, presence. Uh, If you've moved to, uh, in this day and time, it's it's, it's, uh, kind of becoming more common to do more single releases digitally and, and building that just as social media as far as your Spotify, Apple, Amazon profiles, but you know, so often we want that one viral thing, that one organic thing, uh, that one video that just blows up and takes off. Those are very rare. Uh, they bring a flash for a moment, but it does not really do anything. There's no moving the needle or measuring if that really impacts your dates, if that really impacts uh, you know anything else. The value is to build a good, solid, solid base for three to five years of real followers who will engage uh, real databases of emails and contacts that that will respond to offers of merchandise or that will respond to knowing that you're going to be in concert in a certain area, uh, things like that. And it takes time to build those things. Those things don't come overnight. But those three areas, three to five years, spend three to five years doing those things, you will see some things um, Start to happen, you know, I've been having that recently, I'll finish with this, been having that recently with a few artists that we've spent three to five years working with. And people are, people are starting to come and say, hey, what's going on? How are you doing this? I take the time to say, hey buddy, we started this four or five years ago. It, it takes that for some of these things to just begin to open up and occur. The three to five year rule for artists, independent artists, Christian artists, any artist, just about three to five years.